Right, you lot, there's only one place to start this morning, and that's with Mark Noble's tweet late last night. Obviously, Grady left on a five-year deal to West Brom and Albion, and Nobes put out a huge statement, in my opinion, a massive change in movement between the club, the fans, and now the players getting involved as well. So I will read it out. He said, as captain of this football club, I'm gutted, angry, and sad that Grady has left. Great kid with great future. It's huge. I can't, I can't underestimate how big this statement is. Some people will say it's literally just um, a PR thing. But what we saw consequently from this tweet and what we saw about the other players galvanising behind it, um, supporting Grady in one sense, supporting themselves and, and the fans in another. And these players don't play in isolation. They understand that they understand that the fan opinion towards the board is negative. They understand you know, the, the angst and the anger that they have. But Noble knows this as much as a fan, as a player, and in particularly, as he said, as the captain of the football club. And that's something I kind of want to dissect. He said as captain of the football club, he said on multiple occasions, it's his responsibility to be a role model for the academy, to be a leader on the pitch, to do what's best for the club's interest. And him phrasing it like that, I'm captain of this club. I've got a real say um, in how we move forward. It's, it's huge. It's massive. He, he, he's putting himself out there um, to protect the club. And it shows that there is a potential divide, whether or not it's been happening slightly before, I guess it would have been, between now the players and the board. We don't know Moyes' situation. He hasn't come out and said anything. We, but we do know that he has lost out on a number of transfer targets, hasn't been given the money that he would have liked. And I'm led to believe that he didn't actually want Grady Diangana to leave and look to him um, as a first-team player for next season. But interestingly enough, it wasn't just Mark Noble coming out um, and saying his piece. A lot of the pl current players backed him. A lot of the players. You've got Arthur Mazuwaku, Robert Snodgrass. Um, probably the biggest one was Jack Wilshere. And in particular about what Jack Wilshere said to Grady Dean Garner. Not only did he support Nobes in terms of his tweet and what he said, he actually said, he said, good luck to Grady, go to a club that respects you. Now, obviously the massive thing here is, these players are employed by the club and they're effectively going against their employer as a collective, as a whole. And to say to go to a club that respects you shows that the players have a, a level of disdain towards the current ownership, towards the management, as a whole. This isn't just one, one person's opinion, it isn't just Noble's opinion. They've galvanised behind Noble, it's given them the opportunity to speak. And obviously you've seen from, from comments from, from Darren Randolph, TalkSport picked up on the Declan Rice um, like, saying that was that... Um, acceptable. I think, of course, if you're a player at West Ham, and, and clearly now a lot of the players, including Sebastian Allaire, Arthur Mazuwaka, have all come out in support of Mark Noble, it is the right thing to do. It really, really is. It's, it's a huge moment in West Ham's history, in current history, and in terms of moving forward and looking to get this board out. Because these players now are showing a little bit of metal, a bit of fight. It's the one glimmer of hope I think West Ham fans have looked for. Mark Noble in the past historically has been used as a PR stunt by the by the management, right? They put him out, gives a couple of statements, and fans for a while felt a little bit fobbed off by Mark. For him to come out now and say that with a confidence and, and knowing the reaction it's going to get shows that Mark Noble is everything about West Ham that we love. And it's the grit, determination, the loyalty to the club. He knows, he knows where we're at as a club and he's willing to put his feet in, to put his... His, maybe potentially his playing career at West Ham in jeopardy for the sake of the club, for the sake of the fans. And I think loads of people have mapped this out and said this is the first time that you know the fans as an entirety have been united in one cause. Now you've got the players uniting behind the fans. It's a massive moment and I'm just hoping we build on the momentum we get them out of our club, we do it sooner rather than later, uh, and hopefully it becomes so untenable for them um, to, to be in charge that, that we get our club back. And I'm hopeful this is a massive step from Mark. So I will cover the game today in extra time. You're more than welcome to come on and have your say about Mark Noble, anything to do with West Ham, the board, um, and even the Bournemouth West Ham game, because <laughs> we've still got a game going on. Um, listen, hopefully it's a good result, hopefully it's a good performance. Um, but obviously, until then, take care.